So today I'm going to work on the uh, old Terminator, uh, well, Dreadnought Tactical Armor from the old second edition of Warhammer. Um, I stripped it not too long ago. So what I'll do, I'll dress it as a Blood Angel. So it used to be, I guess, an Ultramarine or something like that in the blue. But I wanted I want to bring it back to its former glory of a blood angel. So what we'll do, we'll try to bring back this old classic Terminator and see what we can do with it. So first thing we'll do, uh, I don't have a spray of base of red. So what I'll do, I'll cover it in black. And from there, we will start. So this won't take too long. So be right back. So okay, so I just primed it with the Chaos Black, with the spray can. It's not really wet, so it's not that bad. So the first thing I'll do, I'll start with the Mephiston Red. And with the red, I'll just cover the whole body with it. Um, maybe skip the gun and keep it for another color, but yeah. I'll do the whole thing, the old details will be made afterward. So we'll start with this first. Just a bit of red. And I hope my wet palette is wet enough to do the job. And let's put this here. Wet palette's a bit off screen now. You whoop. There we go. There. Let's try to. Sponge out a bit of it, and here we go. Oh, keep forgetting that those old model turns. We'll just cover as much as we can. It doesn't really matter. Now, in worst case, we'll do a second coat. There we go. Mm -hmm. Try to get in between there. There we go. Fun part, of course, spray painting it red would be easier, but at the same time, it's kind of fun to have that black that glows through it. Just give it a bit more charm. Let's try to get in that helmet. There and there. So it's really not easy to work with an old model like this. Just because the torso is not connected to the body itself. So, yeah, kind of tricky. So we need to reach there. There we go. I can already tell that my old fingers will be red by the end of this model. Yeah. There we go. Uh, we got the fans. Let's try to get them quickly. Those I don't mind too much. I'm pretty sure I'm going to paint that some kind of silver. So 
So right now it's just more to cover as much as I can. There we go. Let's grab a bit more paint to the side. Um, actually, I already put the second layer on this shoulder pad. The problem with the detail when you leave it too long or you leave a model too long in the detail, an older model like this, the surface gets kind of rough, bumpy. So this one, I remember I made it last a bit too long, just a bit more over the 24 hours that I usually do. So I believe maybe a 12 hour would be safer. But yeah, it is done. So. We'll just do with what we got. We'll try to fill up. So. <laughs> Gotta go over that second pad again. Just to highlight a bit. Well, not highlight. Make it a more reddish red. So, like so. We'll cover that and if the model stop turning. Yeah, not fun. Use that tip of the gun maybe. What we'll do, we'll just put a bit more and try to reach in between the arm. It's going to be hard for you guys to see, but right now I've got no choice. I'll put it upside down, do the back of it, well, under it. There we go. So it's not that bad. Okay. Let's do the leg now. I just realized something. Uh, the base is actually not glue. So this model could actually fall off the base itself. So let's try to keep it as straight as possible. If my videos looks a bit darker, it's actually because one of my light, one of my bulb burned down and I'm still waiting for the replacement because of course I was using a specific type of lamp and I can't find any bulb, so I need to order them. Meh, the joy. There we go. So that's pretty much for the back. Let's go to the front now. I'm 
first time I was painting, I was actually really worried on how I was applying the first layer. I was really being careful. Now I realize it doesn't really matter. You just don't have to let it pull too much. And beside that, you should, should be good to go. So it's not really a, a secret or anything. It's pretty much the first layer, so that's not bad. That's a good looking blood angel to start with, don't you guys think? Maybe I'll do another layer all around. So what I'll do, since uh, it's a bit still too thick to play with it, uh, I'll let it sit for a few minutes, let it dry up, and what I'll do, I'll just pause the video instead of you guys watching paint dry over a miniature and there we go well, maybe just cover that a bit more at the same time I'll check if I can find another light because I'm painting dark and it's a dark red over it so it's really hard for me to see right now so to help myself I think I will wait for now put that to the side clean my brush quickly and what i'll do i'll pause this video for you guys it's going to take like two seconds but for me it's going to take a few minutes to get under the light and at the same time wait for this first base to dry up so all right so we'll be right back so okay so i added a light and what we'll do, oh, just kind of sponge that out. We'll do another layer all around this. Just to really, oh, get a proper red all over. No, I don't mind too much going over that. For the end, I'm not too sure yet. Maybe I'm going to put that hand silver and keep those finger red. We'll see. I'll, I'm just creating as we go. The only thing I know, Blood Angel are red. Well, yeah, depends which... There's a death watch, but yeah. Right now it's not that important. All right, cover the top. Try to get some of those. There we go.
I think two layers will be good enough for what I'm trying to achieve today. So basically everything can be done with a brush, right? The only thing, uh, really a compressor with the an airbrush, it's just it goes faster. It's just like having a can of base paint. It just goes faster. I would have skipped all those steps. But at the same time, it's pretty neat to do it by hand. So yeah, it's fun. Bit more tedious, but still fun. And there we go. So that's going to be our base coat for our miniature. Not even sure if I'm, if I'm focusing. There we are. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks pretty neat. So that we'll use other colors to complement this character. So all right. So what I'll do, I'll just let it dry for now. Again, once again, we'll just have to wait just a bit more. Uh, I'll just do small touch-ups but i'll have to wait again a few seconds or minutes for it to dry completely so i can actually do the other colors that i want to add so we'll flip it downward just to make sure we get pretty much everything get the back of those grill There we go. All right. So now we'll wait just a few minutes, just to let it dry. And after that, I'll start attacking all the details on the miniature itself and hoping to achieve something pretty cool. My own personal OOP Terminator under the Blood Angel color scheme. That's gonna be nice. All right, so I'll pause the video for you again. It's gonna take a second, but for me it's gonna take a few minutes, so be right back. So okay, so now what we'll do, we'll cover everything that we want silver with the iron hand steel. And what we'll do, we'll do the gun, a few pipings, and other small details just to help out, to make it pop just a bit more. So we'll get that out. We don't need as much paint as the, as the red. Whoop, sorry about that. But we will cover this there, such. And we'll prevent the miniature from moving 
There we go. The whole thing will be silver for now, but later we'll add more details to it. And one layer seems fine, so we'll keep it at one layer for now. Paint the inside of the gun. Yeah, maybe a second layer on this side. I can see the red is still popping through it. Try to come right inside, right there, and fill that up without touching any of our red that we got. And we can tidy up afterwards, so it's not the end of the world. There we go. For now, this is the gun. So we'll come back and do another layer where that red is. Right now we'll do this little pipe Oop. right there. Should have used a smaller paintbrush, just realized I stayed with the same one. A mistake for me, but that's fine. This will do that little dot right on top right there on the joint. Like so. We'll do the same on the other side. We'll do that little dot right on top, right there. And we'll cover again that piping right there. Try to do the interior. Like so. And we will do inside of the grill. Oop, I keep <laughs> keep hitting my my new light. It's not the perfect setup. I prefer my old setup, but we do what we got. Let's keep going upward until we can't anymore. And then we'll get it from the bottom. Don't turn. If you turn, you make me mess up, bud. So I did a few mistakes here and there, but like I said, I can tidy up after. cover that last vent right there like so just do a little swap downward and we'll try to get the last part of the vent that I keep missing if I can it's gonna be hard come on like I said I keep if you hear weird plastic noise because I keep hitting the light and Big boo boo, but not so bad. Not so bad. Nothing I can fix. There we go. 
Okay, better than nothing. What we'll do, we'll do all the joints with that silver again. So, do the same on this side. I'll try to hit that corner. There we go. We'll cover that little strip in the back. There we go. Same thing on this side. I look like a kid I keep passing my line. <laughs> A little something here, like so. We'll do that top of the joint. We'll do the same on this side. There we go. Mm -hmm. Should I paint the hand? You know what? We're gonna do it. We got the silver out, so we're gonna do it. The whole thing. But we'll try to skip the fingers though. So we'll just go up there, go up here, do that little top right there, and we'll keep going like so. Paintbrush is starting to dry though. So we'll go fast but not too fast. Just the fact that this model rotates make it so hard. And when you look at the newer model, like the primaries, they're so big, right? It's easier to work on. Those older models weren't really built for extra details. And we just want to cover in between the skulls if we can. It's not really important for the skulls because I'm gonna paint them anyways. There we go. Mm -hmm. We'll try to get it from the bottom, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that angle. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky, but not bad. Not bad at all. We'll do that quick code I was talking about on the on this side. Just correct that red that keeps popping. There we go. And we'll do the bottom of the gun. There, we'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. This is what it looks like for now. Not bad. 
not bad at all. And I think for now it's good. Good enough for now. Oh, wait a minute. I was forgetting something. Let's try to make a point with this. We'll do just that little joint right there. Right here. Same thing on this side. There we are. Does that mean it's available in the front? Uh, just a bit of it. We'll try to get it anyways. Like I said, I could have switched brush to make my life easier, but at the same time, eh, the challenge of it, why not? We're having fun. There we are. Mm. Yeah, maybe a bit more. Just a bit too much red coming through. There we go. There. That's not bad. We got something there. Uh -huh. All right. So the back is prettier than the, the front, actually. So, yeah. What we'll do, we'll do this. I'll cover the side of that skull right there. It's over the top and on this side. Like so. On this side. Like a lot of silver, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's gonna look neat. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. All right. So the next part, what we'll do, actually, we'll use some Balthazar gold and we'll cover the Imperium emblem on the chess piece. And like I said, the Balthazar gold. So what I'll do, I'll do some Balthazar gold. After that, I'll go with the Retributor armor color and highlight with the Liberator, Liberator gold. So we'll see how that goes. So the first thing is really to cover just with the skull, with the wings. Really hard to get, wow. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Like so. Some people don't like the Balthazar gold because it's a bit too bright or too dark for a color that's supposed to be like a gold and it's more copper like and I do get it but the thing is this it kind of replace if you're doing a bright gold kind of replace the shader so that's make it makes it pretty neat so just cover the front of that skull like so I just got a little corner there that bothers me. There we go. There. That's not bad, right? And we'll do the same for this wing right there. Let's cover this. We'll do the same on the other. Oh no, we don't. We don't do the same on the other side. It's just on this side. Ha! Huh. Little did I know. Okay, good enough. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's put it all gold. Like I'm telling you, I don't really have a plan. I'm just going with my gut feeling of a nice color. That's not bad. And I just figured something out. I just realized I skipped something, something really important. We'll take back just a bit of silver and we'll do the front grill right there. Oop, right there. Like so. And 
need. Oh, I dipped too. There's still water in that brush. All right, we'll do that again. And let's do this again. We'll just cover tip of it. Uh, there is a bit of water still. That's not fun. What I could do is just wait a bit, let it dry, then we'll come back to it and do that that frontal nose. So we'll just clean this carefully. And we'll just try to sponge this out just a bit. There we are. So that's what happened once in a while, just too much water. So what we'll do, we'll let that dry and we will move to, I am supposed to have some rave bone. So what we'll do, we'll do the emblems on all the skulls with the rave bone. And after that, we'll use the uh, Reclan flesh, flesh shade to give a taint to those skulls. So right now, we'll just kind of mix it in because it's pretty thick. And we will cover all of this. All of those, all of this, this to the side. Mm -hmm. This will do that little corner there. And after that, we'll tidy up later on. But for now, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Perfect. And I want those skulls on the end to be color of bone. The thing is, I lost so many details by doing the details that those skulls doesn't look like skulls much. But yeah, at least we know they're there. Cover this. Cover that.
There we go. There's a last call right there. Hmm. Like so. Okay. So I think this is not bad. Looks pretty decent. Like I said, I'm more focusing on trying not to do too much of a mess, even though I'm still doing a mess. And from there, we will try back again that silver on the helmet. And we'll do that nose part right there on all the vents. Like so. There. Now oh, it's working. So sometimes it's just a question of how diluted your paint is when you're painting. So we'll just make sure that we cover as high as we can without doing too much of a mess. And there we go. All right. So we got something. Okay. So now we'll start shading the whole thing. So I'll start with the olive oil to add a bit of black to that weapon. We will dip it in and not be too scared to apply some of it. Oh, I'll try to hold it in place. There we go. We'll even cover the emblem. Just put a bit more. And we will cover the interior of the gun on this side, like so. There we are. Bit on top. That's not bad. And we may cover this quickly too. The goal right now is to give a bit of darkness to the silver. What well, is some of the silver? And we'll get the inside of that hand right there. At the same time, we'll get the inside. There we go. Give some definition to the fingers. Like so. Same thing on the fingers on this side. Just trying to bring them a bit more to life. I will cover the emblem of the Emperor. Just a bit on the emblem, like so. A bit on the emblem on the belt. A bit on the recess right here, right there. We'll do the same in the back right here. 
Same thing here. Same thing down there. There we go. Like so. And we may adjust a bit in advance. There we go. Oh, grab a mess. Little touch right there. Just make sure that it's proper. There we go. Right there. And we'll turn it around and do again that little pipe right there. There. So we got something here. Oh. Not so bad. I believe it looks good. So I'll just maybe uh should I use that or I'll I'll try. We'll just do this. We'll pass there, we'll pass on top. There we go. We can do the face quickly, just on the recess. Right there, a bit over the top, those corners. Like I said, the, the main goal of this is just to highlight some of the detail that we're losing from etc. All the thickness of the paint and all the details that I kind of lost by doing everything else, right? There we are. That's not bad. That looks good, right? Maybe another pass over here. There we are. All right. So the next one we'll use, it's the flesh shade to highlight all the bones. I'll just mix it a bit. Make sure that this is dry enough. Put it in. Move a bit of it, and we will highlight this like so. So I'll wait for the uh, the glove. It's still not dry. I'll go for this one. Mm, I think I'll get just a bit more. Just not enough to completely do what I want to do. So I'll just him around just a bit so in another way the fact that he can turn yes is a pain but at the same time it's pretty cool since i can actually move the character out of the way without too much problems so i will cover this little bone guy like so there we are Should go around the emblem actually. Make sure that when I tidy up, there's less of that white showing up. There we go. 
So again, we got something really pretty cool, pretty decent right now. So, okay. So now we're going to the serious stuff, the serious part. So we will go with the Retributor armor. We're going to highlight the main logo of the Emperor in front of the Dreadnought tactical armor. We don't need too much though, so we have to be careful. What we'll do is just strip, strip. I put a bit too much, but it's fine. And we'll do the same on this side. Just a bit too thick, but mistakes happens. So yeah, the highlight was a bit too thick, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll do the same right here, but this time we'll just highlight that in the skull. Maybe just a few pass here and there, like so. It's pretty much what I was looking for, but you see, I had just a bit too much paint on the right side, but it's fine. Okay. Cool. So what we'll do, we'll let that dry for now, and we will use my storm host to start doing the highlights on the silver. So, cover top of that gun right there, tip of this, tip of this. It's more crude highlight, but still pretty neat. Do the same on this side. Just do a highlight on top, there, tip on that side. Get on that side of the gun. We'll do top of the hand right there and here. Highlight this. Just between the fingers like so. Do just a little pass that goes towards the bottom. There we go. I think this looks pretty neat of this maybe the corner of that maybe just a bit highlight here don't need too much same thing here there we go that's not bad at all starting to get something Whoop. Pretty decent. Looks pretty decent. What we'll do now, we'll let that one dry and we'll go with the Liberator armor to finish the Emperor emblem that is on top. Just a bit of it because a few seconds ago I put way too much retributor on this. I could have used Sycorax for uh, highlighting, but I don't have it with me right now, so I'll use the Liberator. So what I'll do with the Liberator, I will do a small pass here, just like that. And a small highlight here and there. 
just a bit over the skull. Same thing here. And I will highlight this side too. Just, just a bit here and there. Yeah, not so bad. We'll do the same here. Just a bit there and there. Like so. So we got something pretty decent, I think. At least I believe. And for now it's not bad. Just realized I kind of skipped the belt for the highlight. So what I'll do, I'll just grab a bit more of that Storm. Storm holds silver and I will just highlight the corner of that belt. Right there and there. Like so. There we are. Looks pretty decent. Okay, so I'll use some layering gray. It's the administratum gray. And I'll just make some small lines here and there to highlights on the glove, gun, just a bit of silver, a bit of silver here and there. So that one is really, really gonna be tiny. So I don't want a lot really going to be light. So I just want a small line, maybe right on top here. So, maybe just a bit there, here. Just want a small on the side there. Full notch here, full notch there. Whoa, here, same thing on this side, just a little notch over the piping, a little notch around the edge of the glove. Like so, maybe a line right on top, right there, like so. Mm-hmm. Maybe a small touch over the top of the gun there, here, and a small line in the back right here. There we go. Maybe just a small touch over the top right there. There we are. There we go. All right. So now what I'll do, since I pretty much did everything that I needed, I will try my Blood Angel Red. And we'll try to cover most of the miniature with it. Just to highlight a few of the recess. Just a bit more. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting, right? So we'll do shoes Ooh. oops I got the corner of my uh, joint So, same thing on this side. Grab just a bit more. And we'll keep going. Just a bit on this corner. A bit here. Do the same on the other side. Just cover the base of that model.
Mm-hmm. And we're nearly there. Cover the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Okay, I'll do the fingers again, just a bit here and there. There we go. So that little shader gives it a bit more bite to it, a more, a bit more. Blood Angel to me. There we go. So we'll leave that to dry for a little while. So now when I'm looking at this, we're close to be done. The only thing really I would need to do is do the eyes. So what I'll do for the eyes, let's maybe use a bit of white. Got some white scar right there. Just a bit of it. We'll try to do a bit of white. So we'll try to do that really pretty neat. So, we'll do the same on the other side, and without hitting my light again. Keep hitting the light, it's really bothering me. Like so, I'll come back on this one, try to finish the line. Hit the side of the helmet just a bit too much, like so. Hmm. And the eyes doesn't look the same, sadly. So I'll need to try to correct this. Just need to the tip right already. Just a bit too much so I can finish it. Hmm. Well yeah, kinda butch that eye. But the other eye is pretty neat, but this one is ew, it's really bad. So we'll try to fix that. Thankfully I got enough red to Clean that up. So right there. Mm 
top of that eye. Bottom of it. Sorry if I'm being quiet right now. It's requesting a lot of concentration. Just to try to clean that. Without doing too much of a mess. All right. So that's already pretty better. Pretty much better. So we'll leave, leave that to dry for now. What we'll do, we'll take the evil scarlet sun and we'll start to highlight the body parts that are dry that's going to help out make the miniature pop just a bit more um, but before I think what I'll do yeah okay I'll use again my null oil and I'll just Cover a bit of the body part that I don't feel or highlight enough. Like that knee. Oop. That's a bit too much. That knee part there needs to be covered just a bit. Like so, a bit over the tip of the foot. Put that right there. That right there. Right there. Same thing around that emblem. A bit just inside here, it's like there. Same thing here and there. The back of the legs need a lot of love right now. Just take a bit more. We'll do that knee part. So, we'll just try to cover the inside of the suit. Uh, we'll need just a bit more. Okay, that's a bit better.
Okay, so now it's better. So for the eyes, do we keep them white? Are they good for now? Should we put another color? Kind of don't mind it as white. Hmm. So we'll do the small highlights and I think we'll be pretty much done. So we'll just grab a bit of this. Just using the Evil Sun Scarlet to do this. So I'll just remove a lot of it. And I'll just do like those. So, just grab a bit of corner of those fingers, like that one, that one, that one there. Do strip, try not boop. Model turn, small strip over the top right there. I'll do a line right there. Same thing on the back. There. So mm -hmm. Pretty much the light is coming from this side, so trying to get it in the same angle. Yeah, I got the eye. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. Just 
rub a bit more because it's drying. I just finished that line right there. A little bit of this. Just make sure that this is well highlighted. It's on top right there too. There we go. Mm-hmm. Just to glare on this side, not too much. There it is. Okay, that's not so bad. That's something pretty decent. I'll just need to fix that eye. I did a mistake there. So what I'll do before fixing the eye, I will highlight every ray spot with the squid orange and really do the final touch up with that and I'll be done. Could use a bit of white though if I really want to highlight the silver just like little glares. So what I'll do with this it's literally just shining glowing highlight. Hmm. So just like the edge of the knee pan. Really more just having fun right now. I will do the same for those ray section of the face. So right there. Try to get the corner right there in the front. Hmm. Really getting those sharp cheeks sticking out just a bit more. Like so. Mm -hmm. And there we go. It's all fixed that eye. That eye is bothering me so much right now. So 
We will get just a bit of white paint. And we will try to solve my little high problem. And there we go. I solve. So what does you guys think? Does this look like a cool model or not? It's pretty neat. Just do a small white line there. Small white line there. Small one here. Small there. Perfect. Oh, and what we'll do to finish this and see is job complete. We'll take back the rave bone. Where is it? I still got a bit of it. I still got a bit of it. Perfect. Though. And we will. Ooh, we lost the miniature. Told you it was gonna fall. Happy I was done, though. There we go. So we will. I like just this, this. This will highlight a bit of the ridge. Instead of this, we will do the same at the bottom right there. If we can, just a bit of highlight on the eyes. Bit just over the top right there, the bottom. Same thing on this side. Heck, and we will highlight this one. There we go. And the bottom of the mouth. Like so. We'll do a quick touch up here and there. The red. Because I got a few mistakes here and there that I that are really bothering me. Like this one right here. It's bothering me. And for the rest, I think I'm good. I'm okay with it. So yeah, so this is the model. So I think I'm done with my Blood Angel. Let's take a look at it. Just lift the light just a bit more. So this is my remake of an old classic Terminator. course I could have went even more detail and really make it better than that but this was my prototype for my Space Hulk paint scheme that I'm planning to use and 
this is not bad for a first tryout it looks pretty neat i'm really glad i'm really happy of the result so i hope you guys can enjoy that and it's not much but it's pretty cool i really really love those so on this i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys around